Howdy gang. Today, I'm gonna give you a very short lesson on how to clear a clogged impeller in your pump motor. So let's hit it. All right, to begin with, I wanna thank you again for watching and remind you to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and please share this channel with your friends who own pools. Okay, so first and foremost, what is an impeller? Sounds like an interesting thing, right? Well, an impeller is basically an internal propeller that's inside your pump. And what it does is it's, the, it's responsible for moving water. It's kind of like a, a turbine engine, the inside of a turbine engine or like a jet, a commercial jet plane. You see those, those veins inside and they turn and they create suction. Well, it's the same thing. It's inside the pump and I'll show you where it is. And it creates suction. It's what creates suction and flow. So it pulls water from your pool through the suction side of your, your pool and then it forces it through your filter and back into the pool after it's been filtered. So that's what an impeller is. And from time to time, um, and it may never happen to you, but it happens once in a while, um, small debris that's smaller than the openings in your pump basket and your skimmer basket sometimes get through those baskets. And if they don't pass through the impeller and get through it, they can get caught in there and eventually accumulate and cause a blockage and it blocks up those 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 um, those veins or the fan blades inside and plugs it so you get a restricted flow so if you notice that you're getting a lack of suction and your filters been backwashed if you have a backwashable filter and your cartridges are clean and everything it might be that you have a clogged impeller so sometimes you're going to need to clear that and i'm going to show you how to do that today so without further ado let's go to a pool and let's show you how to do it all right so first and absolutely most important when it comes to cleaning out the impeller in this pump first and this is critical make absolutely certain that there's no way that this motor is going to turn on while your fingers are in there because this thing goes from zero to about 2500 rpm in a second or two and that can really take off a finger so be very careful so here's what i'm going to do with this particular kind of system if you have a standard type of time clock i'm going to make sure that this piece right here which is the timer is nowhere near the on or off tab so this is an off tab i know that and this is the on tab so i'm safe here right if i turn it on and turn it off so i make sure number one that that's not anywhere close this is not anywhere close to the on tab at all okay secondly for safety purposes this system has an override switch which is right under here and i'm going to flip that off it's just a typical toggle light switch and to double check I flip this on, nothing happens. So that gives me double insurance that this thing's not gonna go on when my fingers are in there, okay? Now I can open this pump lid. Normally it's a two-handed job, but I think I can get this free with one hand. There we go. I pop that free and I open the lid, right? And I always inspect the lid to make sure that the O-ring is in good shape and it's seated in its proper place. And then I just lift out my pump basket, and I'm gonna empty this out while I'm here. Okay, now, this hole right here is where the impeller is, it's further up the chute. So if I reach in there, I can put my fingers down in there and turn it around and feel the blades of the impeller. And there's maybe one little piece of something caught in there, I'll pull it out so I can get it with my fingers. Usually you can get it with your fingers if you don't have too small a hand or too big a hand, and you can get whatever's in there out. Um, if not, you can always try like a wire coat hanger. Okay, so that piece of something, that thing right there, that was in there. And that's not enough to clog the impeller. But that's how I do it. And again, if you have a tough time getting your hands in here, okay, or you don't like getting your fingers in there, you can take a coat hanger and bend it and just adjust it so you can just scoop out in there and scoop that out. Okay, once I do that, I'm going to take my pump basket, make sure it's emptied out. Might as well do that while I've got it open. And seat it back in correctly. Notice this opening right here. In this case, in the Penta Whisker Flow, goes right into that slot. There's only one way it'll go in. If I turn it, it's not going to go in. So it goes into its slot. I'm going to put this back on top. 
and snug it down. And this is a two hand job, so I'm gonna pause it for just a moment. Okay, so I've got the lid back on. Now I can go back and restart the system and make sure I get everything turned on. So I go to that override light switch, toggle switch, flip it up, go over to my system and fire it up. And the reason I wanna fire it up is I want to re-pump, prime, sorry, re-prime that pump, okay? So I'm gonna re-prime it just like so. And notice how fast that thing primed up. So that's good. And that is pretty much how you clear a clogged impeller. Pretty simple. So gang, that is pretty much how you clean a clogged impeller in your pump. It's pretty simple to do. Again, I think the most important thing to remember is that you make absolutely certain there is no possible way that that pump can turn on while your fingers are in there. So again, make sure the time clock is nowhere near the on tab so it might go on. If you have an autom or if you have one of the more um, automated ones that is like the multi-speed ones, there's an override switch that stops the system completely. You wanna make sure you engage that so it doesn't turn on accidentally. And again, like this pool, it has that little override toggle switch. It looks like a light switch that I can shut off to double ensure my fingers are safe. I did have it one time where I put my fingers into the impeller and literally there was a little voice in my head that said, Get your hand out of there. I pulled my hand out the moment I did, that thing flipped on. So, by the grace of God, I think my fingers were spared. So, I want to pass that information on to you. But it's a pretty simple thing to do. You want to do it occasionally just to, you know, to make sure that there's nothing impeding your flow. Or for some reason, if you find a loss of suction, um, if it's not your filters, um, needing to be cleaned, then it very possibly could be uh, either your baskets, your skimmer and pump baskets are full, or you might have a clogged impeller, so you might want to check it out. Anyway, I hope it made sense. I hope you enjoyed it and you got a lot out of it and it was helpful for you. Um, I do appreciate when you like and subscribe to this channel. I also uh, I like this video. I also uh, appreciate it when you share this channel with your friends who own pools. As always, if you have any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below this video. and. You can also email me directly if you'd like. My email address is gonna come across the bottom of the screen here as always. It's kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Thank you so much once again for watching and until we see each other again, remember to always have fun, be safe, and always watch those kids around water. I'll see you soon.